DHL Global Connectedness Index Report, which I co-author with Stern Professor Pankaj Gemwad and Philip Bastian, measures the state and trajectory of globalization based on trade, capital, information, and people flows. Here are three takeaways from this year's report. First, despite predictions that globalization might collapse under a wave of economic nationalism, the DHL Global Connectedness Index actually rose to a record level in 2017. For the first time since 2007, the shares of trade, capital, information, and people crossing national borders all increased significantly. Second, despite these recent increases, the world is still less globalized than most people think it is. Just about 20% of all economic output is exported, roughly 7% of telephone call minutes are international, including calls over the internet, and only 3% of people live outside of the countries where they were born. Furthermore, international flows are still constrained powerfully by distance and cross-country differences. Third, in 2018, major public policy threats to globalization turned from rhetoric to reality, prompting downgrades to global growth forecasts. Trade conflicts escalated and countries raised barriers to foreign corporate takeovers, immigration, and other flows. On the other hand, several landmark trade deals were signed in 2018. With globalization's strong momentum running up against powerful headwinds, leaders need timely and accurate data to make well-informed decisions. In business, measures in our report can help with choices about how and where to compete abroad. And in public policy, they can calm fears and focus attention on real solutions to issues fueling the anti-globalization backlash. Our report measures globalization worldwide, by region, and for 169 countries. It's available for free download at logistics.dhl/gci.